Alright, we're back for this shit. Let's go. <clears throat> now, I was told very specifically for what is coming or what is coming next, I need to go back to uh the Traverse Town. Ooh, I can go there, too. Hey! Alright, but, Traverse Town. I have, like, more than half a glass of sugar left, so I'll probably be chugging on that, and it will more than likely send me to the restroom a couple of times. Uh, we need to go to the accessory shop, because the person here sells something very, very important for us. We need Thundara rings. I only have two grants. I can only buy two more. But I only need four more. Hopefully, that'll be enough. It likely will not be, but that's the hope. Now, we need this because even though we are semi-blind, I've got, you know... I have a little bit of outside help. Specifically, I had to go look up how the fuck the fight with Ursula is supposed to go. And as it turns out, it's a counterspell mechanic. Something that was not explained to me and was not made immediately fucking obvious. Which is bullshit. If you're gonna have a puzzle boss, it needs to have some sort of explanation. The, the, visual, the visual stimuli that I was getting was not fucking enough for me to understand what the hell was going on. I could have sworn that there was another warp point here, but apparently not. I should also equip ethers. I should, but I'm not going to because it is my firm belief that if you are prepared for a fight, you can take it. You can do it without. Um, you can do that fight without items. That is the definition of being prepared for a fight. Ouch. I need to get faster at that as well. Thunder. Oh wait, are they, do they get healed for that? Valley, right? 
I need to be at. Could have sworn it was just outside right in the palace. But clearly I was mistaken. Yep, there's Ariel's Grotto. Alright. Duh, sunken ship. Don't need to bother with you. Um, where's the rock? There's the rock. Just next to it. Yeah, there. The Den of Tides. We're not going to fight everything. We aren't. We we're fighting the stuff outside so that we could attempt to get some, um, some, well, gems to be perfect. Crafting materials. We've not been in here. Huh. Ha! There's a save point right outside Ursula's. Ugh. Admittedly, this time this is my fault. Totally, I didn't explore this area. I was just watching Ursula like an idiot. I hate you, spi uh, Spiral Rock. Tidal Abyss. Now this is just a hallway, so there should not be anything here. Come. 
notice that Ursula doesn't actually say anything for this thing. It just glowers at us. Walk onto the cauldron. It looks like it's already in. Alright, so. Go a little bit higher up. Fire up. Okay. Alright. Next potion. I guess not! It was ready for counteracting, and then it was just, you know, ready for spells. Alright. And, uh... Okay. Notice that I can't... Yeah, I still can't actually do this fight. Very specifically because it's still not being fucking explained. I was told it was a counterspell. It was a counterspell fight. And I tried to do the counterspell, and it didn't fucking work. It said it was a counterspell, and then I tried to do the counterspell and got one shockwave out of it. I spent like 10 to total fucking mana bars on it and got one shockwave. Anyone want to explain how this fucking fight works? I would love to know how this fucking fight's supposed to work. How about when we get to the green state, we uh, switch our, our own spell? Maybe that'll do it. Unlikely, but possible. Alright. It's on that now. Okay. Come on! 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 Come on!
why can't I land my three hit on him? No, this fight flat out doesn't work. It flat out does not work. Watch, she's gonna throw in a potion that I can't see her do. So I can't tell what potion she threw in, although it's very cool to fire. But I guess it's six fucking potions that, that need to go in. Which means that I have to keep my eyes squarely on her for the entire fight, and I'm allowed, not allowed to do that. They say no escape, they're preparing their attack, but I can't actually counter that apparently. Supposedly an audio cue, but I'm too busy worried about uh, too worried about floatsome and jetsome to, to notice what those are. Oh, 
just flailing about uh, aimlessly. You know, I wish you had an MP meter. That would be nice. Or if I actually had Osmos. Oh man, Osmos in this fight would be so fucking good. But of course we don't have Osmos, because Osmos isn't actually a spell on the Kingdom Hearts universe for some fucking reason. I mean, Aqua, uh, Aqua and Kyrie are very clearly designated spellcasters, but, you know, no Osmos. That's not what I wanted to hit that with. Okay, fire. One more potion. So, apparently I'm supposed to interrupt her, uh, her last potion then? Magic. Cure. Magic. Cure. I'm splintering my fucking controller over this shit. Why can't I go down to magic, huh? No, I lost that because the menus fucking wouldn't let me play. No joke, I got killed by fucking menus in that fight. No, we weren't winning, but we died to menus. And again, this isn't the hard fight, despite the fact it's impossible. The hard fight is, is phase two, where she gets all the AoE attacks. And it's giant. At least, that's what I was fucking told. Mind you, this fight's impossible, so if that fight's harder, then, you know... I don't understand why people think Kingdom Hearts 1's a good game. I don't. The audio cue! I have no fucking idea what I'm supposed to do. None. I just expent all my goddamn mana and I didn't do anything. No, it. It can't be. Uh, it can't be a count. Uh, can't be a counter system. And honestly, sounds very much like it's just empty your fucking mana pool and hope it works, which is terrible design, specifically because well, I don't have the ability to regenerate my mana fast enough for that to be effective. Even with items, um, even with items, uh, Mega Ether, although fully restores my mana, takes it uh, takes a small moment in order to actually cast. So I would just end up getting interrupted every time I attempt to use it, and I'm only allowed to bring in four items. I don't do enough melee damage for that to be enough, so I would have to use spells against her, which means I would have to empty my mana pool 18 fucking times. That's an exaggeration, yes, but it's an accurate one. Oh, D-pad! No, the, uh, my D-pad is, is apparently just broken now. Oh, 
So, I countered the fighter spell with Lazara and nothing happened. I wish my other commands worked. That would be so fucking nice if I had either dodge roll or guard. Super glowing? Is that the key? Wish I could pin her against another wall because that was working really well. But nope, because of uh, because of how the swim mechanics work. Down, and I missed uh, I missed my opportunity to go down. Lock on, will you actually lock on? Would that be nice?
try this. Now we'll try this time, hopefully, assuming that we have mana for it. Which we won't, because, you know. About as glowing as it fucking gets there. Where did you go? <laughs> I can't fucking hit her because of the swing mechanics. She is so close to actually being dead. I would love to actually finish this fight this fun this time. Down. Not who I wanted to cast Cure on, but okay. Dude, that didn't work. You lying son of a bitch! I hate that it, she has the ability to fucking interrupt my cure spell off screen. Why do all the enemies have that? All, all, everyone's got that. And it makes sense that everyone has it. Because, you know, if certain people didn't have it, then it would be fucking bullshit. But we fixed this problem in 99. And it means that you can't see don't actively attack you. But because Ursula's got AoE spells that I can't fucking detect because I'm not allowed to look at her, she gets to interrupt my cure spells with the big volcanic explosion. We had won that fight. We only had two cycles left if it had worked out in our favor. But no, she gets to interrupt my goddamn cure spell. This, this is why I am convinced that Kingdom Hearts 1 is not a good game. Yes, I am terrible at it, certainly. But this is the kind of shit that pre that's prevalent all throughout this. Like, the first fucking... Not the first boss, because the first boss is fake Chernobog. But, like... The, the, the two bosses after that, the Flame Juggler and Cerberus, both have this fucking problem where we are drastically underpowered compared to our opponents, even with all three members alive. And for the record, summons don't don't matter during this fight. They don't. I can't... Uh, Ursula is immune to damage. Uh, uh, Ursula is just flat out immune to damage until she goes into her stun state. That's very glowy, but is it glowy enough? Yes, it was glowy enough. It didn't look like it was fucking glowy enough, but it was glowy enough. Donald's dead already. So one, one more Ursula. Throw one more in and then we'll counter it. No! I was supposed to do another one right there. Which means I need to counter her spell each time that she throws it in, which is at least three. I was told it was fucking two. Come on. Another potion. One more. And 
and it's not! You see what I fucking mean? This doesn't fucking work! I managed to hear the audio cue that time. That's the only reason why we got that. Where are you? Admittedly, it looks like I. Uh, it looks like if I bothered to bring in items, I could actually just ignore Floatsome and Jetsome entirely. And then because, I, then because I was either late on the audio cue or miscounted, which it was the latter, it didn't work. It's gotta be a fucking six spell count, count, which is bullshit. It's not supposed to be a six spell count. But that's what it looks like it is. It's a fucking six spell count. So I should just be casting Fyra then. <laughs> there are other fucking targets, you stupid dog. Oh. That's not who I intended to lock on to. Come on! 
This time it's not a six spell counter. And I'm out of mana. You know, I would also like a very, I would also like a little bit more consistency on when I'm, when I'm actually allowed to stop the, uh, the no escape charge. That wasn't even a fucking counter. It was on. It was on. <sighs> I can't fucking map this goddamn controller to what I need it to be. No, I've lost this fight to menus more than four fucking times already. Change targets now. I'm 
tempted to bust out the other controller because this one clearly isn't working. But that's the thing. I don't think it's the controller. I think it's the fact that uh, that if Sora isn't looking the appropriate way, even if the camera is, well, he doesn't lock onto targets appropriately. What? She was not that close to death. Ah. You pay for this. You need to explain how the fuck I won, bitch. No, Ariel. Oh, we got done. No, that... I'm, I'm happy that we got the Ursula, the Ursula fight done. I am, I am extremely happy that we got the Ursula fight done. But, um, I just got told that my ability to ascend just got disabled. And I am not dealing with that. Yup. <laughs> Fucking yup. Uh, w while you have mermaid kick on, both ascend and descend are mapped to double tap. Uh, not not ascend and de uh, descend the commands themselves, but the mermaid kick is uh, mapped to double tap. We're done for the night. Fuck you all. Fuck this game.